city of Zed is based on explorer Percy Fawcett's life, who also lived as an intelligence officer on Spike Island just off Cork. So what is the island like now? We sent Colm Flynn across on the ferry to get a sense of the Irish Alcatraz, Spike Island. <laughs> me is the beautiful fishery town of Cove in County Cork and I've taken a short 10 minute ferry journey across to a place that I think it's fair to say not everyone knows about in Ireland and I think they should because of its history, its notorious past, I've come here to Spike Island. For over 1300 years just the name alone Spike Island was enough to conjure up fear in the people who heard it. It was a place of punishment, hardship, and terrible sorrow. John Crotty is the general manager and is telling me a bit about its history. I mean, it started right back with the monastery in the sixth century, but that quickly got converted into military and prison use. Uh, it actually became the biggest prison in the world in the 1850s when the famine years really drove the numbers up. So during the, the terrible famine years, for petty crimes, this was the place where people would be sent before they were put on a ship to Australia? Absolutely, yeah. Transporting was the name of the game back then. And essentially, you could be sent from the mainland over to Spike Island. Uh, you might serve maybe three or four years and then be sent on to Australia or possibly the Barbados or the Americas. Ten times the size of Alcatraz, Spike Island was not just somewhere where you did time. For many, it was the end of the line. At one stage, conditions in the prison were so bad 10% of inmates would die of pneumonia or disease. Back then, prison wasn't about rehabilitation or reform. It was about punishment. Oh my God. So John, what would conditions have been like for a prisoner in one of these cells? Absolutely appalling. Uh, they would have slept on the floor in a windowless cell and they would have actually been chained to the wall for 23 and a half hours a day. Chained to the wall? Chained to the wall. It really was the worst treatment imaginable. In pitch black? In complete darkness. It would be the worst of the worst, in fairness. Uh, it would have been murderers, rapists. Uh, they really did round up Ireland's worst at uh, different points in the 18th century and bring them here. In 1985, tensions led to violent riots breaking out, resulting in half of the buildings being set on fire. And after that, the prison started to wind down. But it's interesting to think that it is still recent history because the last person was left here in what, 2004? 2004, literally that recent, yeah. We've had quite a few of them come back and say hello to us and show us their cells. So certainly there's been a very modern element to the prison story as well as the 200 year old element. Spike Island has now become a tourist attraction and features in the soon to be released film Lost City of Z, a movie about the famous explorer Percy Fawcett who lived on the island for three years. Well, John, it was great meeting you, and thank you for the tour of Spike Island. You're very welcome, Colin. Well, it wouldn't be the Spike Island experience without a little cell time, so you enjoy your stay. Enjoy my stay? What are you talking about? I'm here to stay. Hey, this wasn't the plan, John. This is a remarkable place with a remarkable history, and it's hard to believe that somewhere like this existed just off the coast of Cork.